Today, I am gonna be changing out the speakers in my F-350 here. Now, a couple of months ago, I decided to go ahead and replace the speakers here in the front doors because the original factory speakers are just horrible in these things. And I went out and I got a set of Kenwoods and they did pretty good, but I didn't replace the backs and it doesn't sound really well. And I kind of just left it alone at the time. And here about a week ago, I went out and picked up a set of four speakers for my son to put in his truck. He's getting ready to start driving here. And I actually picked up these Kenwood speakers here and they're a concert series speaker. They're a model KFC C681 and I'll put a link to them down below in the description for you. And when he installed these and I actually got in his truck and listened to it, I was absolutely amazed at the difference and actually quite frankly for the cost and these only run about $50 off of Amazon at just how well it sounded in his truck. So I went ahead and ordered me a set and what I'm looking to do today is I'm going to take the ones that I installed here a couple of months ago out of the front and I'm going to move those to the rear and then I'm going to install these new ones here in the front just to give me some better sound when I'm cruising around and doing my work. I just like to hear my music a little bit better. So today I'm going to go through this and show you how to do it. Let's start with getting this panel off, getting access to our front speaker here and getting it replaced and then we'll move to the back. The first thing I'm going to do is take off this little panel that's up above and it just has two retaining clips in here and I'll just kind of grab it like this and pull it straight back and there we go and there you see it has those two retaining clips and I'll just set this off to the side. Next I want to get my uh, window controllers here, my switch out because there is a uh, fastener that goes right through here that secures the door in place so we need to get this out to access it. And for that, I'm just going to take my small pry bar tool like I have here and it just goes in here and I'm just going to gently lift up on it just like that. And how this works is on this end, it has a tab that goes up underneath and on this end, it actually has a fastener that goes down into the door. So once I get that done, then all I need to do is just pull this out and then remove all these different electrical connectors here and they just have the retaining tab that you press and then just pull them out. And I'm just going to tuck those down in the door. Now that we have our controllers out of the way, you'll see right here is a fastener. These are a seven millimeter. You're going to want to go ahead and remove that. Now you want to take off this little cover right here for your courtesy lamp. And on this end, it has a little tab in there. And I'm just going to use my pry bar and you just kind of push that in there and lift out on it. And it'll come right out. Just like that. Down in this opening towards the bottom of your door where your courtesy light was, you have another fastener in here that's a seven millimeter. You're gonna to wanna to remove that one. Now that your two fasteners are removed, you're ready to remove your door panel and that's quite easy to do. And you're just gonna lift up on it and then pull it out. And I'll usually, I'll grab it down here and I'll grab it up here and just lift up like you see here and then just slowly start to pull it out. Now on some models, what you're gonna have is down here where your courtesy light is located right here. On the back side, you may have a wiring harness. Now my particular truck doesn't have one. And if you do, you're just gonna give it like a quarter of a turn and take that light bulb out of this opening in here. I don't happen to have that. So now I'm able to go ahead and get my door panel off and I now have access to my speaker. You now have four fasteners that secure your factory speaker in place. In this case, it's the one I put in a couple of months ago. They're a 5.5 millimeter. You want to go ahead and remove those. Now that those are out, we can go ahead and just lift our speaker out and then disconnect it back here. You have a little wiring harness. Now on the ones that I put in here, I'll show you. I decided to go ahead and take the factory wiring harness off of my factory speakers and I actually soldered those onto my aftermarket speakers here. You can get adapters for it, but I decided just to take the ones off of my old speakers, solder them here onto my new speakers and we're good to go. So this one's ready now to be moved to the back. Now your rear speakers are actually located behind this panel over here in the corner. And if you look down in there, you'll be able to see your speaker grill. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do to get access to this to replace it is I'm gonna grab the handle that's here on the side of the seat. You're gonna pull it towards you. And just tilt the seat forward like this. 
and now we have access to get in here to this panel. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the fastener here for our seat belt and we're gonna get the seat belt loosened up so then all we have to do is pull the panel off, get to the speaker and get it replaced. Now what you'll do is just lift up on this cover on the bottom by the black and it will just pop up. I'm trying to do this, keep my hands out of the way. Just like you see there, and that reveals the bolt down below. And that uses a T50 star bit. And I'll just go ahead and put that back down like so. And then just set it off here to the side so it's out of the way. Now we're ready to go ahead and start removing our panel. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling out my weather stripping because that helps secure it. Just like you see here down along here and then I'm gonna pull it over here just so it stays out of my way while I'm filming this for you and I can easily put that back up here when I'm done now you want to take out your seal plate to remove your seal plate here it's pretty easy now in this case I have a pry bar you could use a straight screwdriver if you want it and I'm just gonna go up underneath that trim lift it up a bit I'm gonna go up underneath and you'll see I'm just barely pushing on and it's already starting to come up then you're gonna to want to go over to about right here in the middle and just lift up again and then over here to the other side and I'll try and get out of the way and lift up and then one more and there you have it with my weather stripping out of the way now I can go ahead and start removing my door panel now for this you can pull on it and just pull out but I like to keep the stress off of my fasteners that hold it in place so I'm going to just use a medium sized pry bar like this and I'm going to get inside of there and I'm actually going to pry out on it just so it kind of pushes it out where the fasteners are so it just gives it less stress there so I'm going to start with the top and I just pull that out and now get my hand, my pry bar in here carefully. And there's one. And we'll come down here a little further. About right in here is gonna be your next fastener and I'm just gonna push out on it just like you see there. And then down here towards the bottom, there'll be another one. And once again, I'm just gonna push out on it and pop it out just like that. And keep working it down. And there we go. Now it's going to be tight in here because of the fact we still have our carpet here in the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and start moving it out as you see here. And we have one last fastener down there on that one side. And once I get this out, I'll show you where they're at so you know what I'm dealing with here. There we go. And you see, I'm not really prying hard on it. I just want to move it a little bit, but that way I'm not putting stress on it. Let the pry bar do the work so it doesn't damage up my panel. And there we go. So now we'll just work our panel out. And I'm just going to set it up over here. And now we have full access to get to our speaker that's down inside of here. Now that we have easy full access to get to our speaker down here, once again, we'll remove the four fasteners that secure it in place. And just like the front, they're a 5.5 millimeter. Now I can just take my speaker out. Here's my connector once again. And all I got to do is just press that retaining tab there on the back and pull up on it. And my speaker is out. So now I have my replacement speaker and I've gone ahead and moved over my factory wiring harness from the old speaker onto my replacement speaker. And so all I have to do now is just take that and plug it into the factory harness again. And I can go ahead and just lock that into place and I can just set the speaker back into its position and put my fasteners back in. And this one's done already. Now, before I go ahead and actually put my panel back on here, I just wanna make sure everything is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my stereo and just make sure I'm getting sound out of here and everything's good. Once that's done, we can put our panel back on. Now that I've tested my speaker and everything sounds great, I can go ahead and start putting our panel back here into position. Now this here is that panel and this here will give you an idea. We have two fasteners down here. You have two up here two up here and then one up here so all in all you have two four six you have seven fasteners that actually secure this into position
and all you're going to do now is work it back down in there line them back up make sure they're lined up so you don't bend them and then just kind of tap it into place and they'll lock right back in now that things are generally into position i'm just going to lightly start pushing it you see I'm not really hitting it hard I just want to get them to start going in and once I know that they're all properly lined up then you can give it kind of a tap with your fist just to make sure they lock into place now that we have that part done we can go ahead and start putting our weather stripping back in around the door Now we're ready to go ahead and put our seat belt back in. But before you do, don't forget to include this little trim piece. Mine popped out on mine and it has these little retaining tabs on the back and all you do is just pop it back into place, just like that. Now you'll just lift your cover up, line that bolt back up in the hole, get it started and then secure it. Now that I have that done, all I gotta do is just lock my little cover here back into position just like that move my tools here out of the way and my light and go ahead and just put the seat back up in its position to reinstall our trim plate here our door seal you see you have three retaining tabs here and all those do is those line up with these three openings right in here and then you also have these little clips here on the end and they line up with your side trim pieces so all you'll do and by the way you'll see how it has these little tabs right here on the ends these face towards the inside of your truck and you'll just kind of line those up and you'll kind of feel it line up a little bit like that and then just push down and you'll feel them lock into position and just like that you're done so I want to be able to reuse my factory harness so I can keep all my plugs and quite frankly I guess I'm being cheap I don't want to buy the little adapters at ten dollars a pair so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat up my solder on these two connections here disconnect it from the speaker and then just go ahead and pull this plug off and install it onto my replacement speaker Now that we have everything disconnected, I want to remove this from my speaker. And if you go down below, right underneath on these, right in the center down in there, and I'm sorry, I don't think I'm going to get you a view of it, there's a little retaining tab, and I just take a little straight screwdriver, and I push it down inside of there, and lift up on that tab, and then it should slide right off. So I went ahead, went through my box, just found some scrap wire and I've gone ahead and cleaned them off and stripped them. And I did two sets for the two speakers I'm adding, but I already have them in place with my old harness here. And I just added a little bit of flux on there. The wires are already run through the way they came out. Now all I gotta do is just go ahead and heat that back up again and solder these wires onto my harness and then we'll solder them onto the speaker. So here's our new speakers. Let me show you what's included in the box when you get yours, if you decide to go with these. They're both tightly packed in styrofoam here. And just take them out just like so. So it does naturally has an owner's and installation manual. And then if you'll go to the one end, like on this end here, by the way, should you want to do it, let me pop this out of here. It does have mounting screws, should you want to use their mounting screws. I'm just using my factory ones. But then they also do come with their own special little harness. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and cut your factory wires and cut that harness off. And then just use like a butt connector on there to actually wire these up to it so you can put them onto the speaker. But I just like the idea of keeping everything the way it was from the factory and just re-soldering it on. So... We'll go ahead here and separate these and you know, you have two speakers. So this here 
is my new speaker that's going to be going in the front. And these have just put out some amazing sound. I liked my last Kenwood speakers I got. And I'll put a link to those. They were a little bit cheaper. But I'm telling you, these here are just an amazing speaker. And the sound is great for what you pay for them. So now let's go ahead and let's uh, solder in our factory harness onto here. And let's get it installed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the wires through these holes that you see right here and then bend them down and then just solder them right into position. Now I've gone ahead and I just basically I've moved my factory harness over to my new speaker and it's ready to be installed and I can just plug it right back in where the other one came out. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. I could remount this back up here to this bar if I wanted to, but I like having a little bit of play. All I care about is getting the connection. Everything else is secured really well up to the speaker. So now let's go ahead and we'll put this one in the front door. Now we're going to start over here on the passenger side, same principle as the driver's side. You're going to start with removing these and then you're going to take out your courtesy lamp cover, get the bolts out from here on. I'm just going to do this and fast forward just so you can see me doing this side. Same everything as the other side. Man, I got to tell you, I am really impressed with these speakers. And for the money at $50 a pair, you're just not going to beat the sound that you're going to get out of these things. Now, you're not going to go out and win any kind of awards or competitions with it. But if you're just looking to improve the sound quality in your vehicle and not break the bank to do it, you could replace all four speakers in your car, your truck, for a hundred bucks and get some awesome sound out of it. So hey, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please do me a favor and hit that like button for me. If you'd like to see more videos like this one here in the near future, why don't you hit that subscribe button and stick around here with me. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.